<coughs> right, I said I put a bit more in here, didn't I? So that's what I'm gonna do. You know what? I think I might have some trees over this side. So I'm just enjoying this end now, really. I've done my basic painting, what I did yesterday. So now I'm just gonna whack in some trees in here somewhere. I'm not even sure how far I'm gonna come across yet. So I'll just whack some moisture in. So I want a bit of softness on top of these. Right, get a bit of colour. A nice bit of green. Uh, dull it down with a bit of, bit of red to dull it a bit. And then that's quite nice. Yeah. Just mixing a nice green up. Blue, yellow, and then I've dulled it down with a bit of red. Yeah, and it's sort of mm, something like that. Mm, there, like that. I think I'll come to about there. Something like that, and then right. I think to get that bit at the bottom, I'm gonna to go to a small brush. Right. Mix a bit more up, a bit more paint. That's nice. Right, I'll just come into the bottom of here like this, just to get this bit here. So I tell you what, you know, if you're doing stuff like this, flip it upside down. You can get it right up to your edge. Then looks easier. I mean, come into there, to there, that's it. Oh, the lower, that's right. Makes it a bit, a bit easier. That's it. Lower. That's nice. Right, a bit, yeah, something like that. And I might put uh, some highlights into this now. So, my light decided it's coming in this way. So, I'm just going to pop in. Some yellow highlights down one side, and a lot of this. Slightly lighter colour down that one side. That's it. And then I think let's go slightly darker colour down to the side. Slightly darker. Just little bits down to the side. That should give me a bit of summer there like that. Then I'm going to flip upside down. I'm going to stick some blue in and just darken right in bottom of that there. Bit of blue, bit of brown. That's it. That's nice. Just come right in there again. Just darken that off in there. Mm -hmm. See. Softening it off a tiny bit on there. Back to just water and just soften off a little bit in there. There we are. And then I think right on this edge here, I'm going to soften a bit. Soften some of these edges a bit and all that. Just dabbing a bit of damp brush in just to soften these edges. I'll tell you what, I'll go this side for it. Well, it's mainly that side what it's doing. That side's not bad. So, yeah. Something about like that. There we are. So that's, I'll spin it back just so I can air look. And then I might even pop some little loose bits in like that like small loose bits it's that there bit of light coming in there a lot a bit more yeah in there just odd little bit sticking out I think um, I think that's probably enough just to yeah, that looks all right when it's dried that well right. Oh another thing I wanted to do sharpen this bit up there. So mix a bit of uh, nice colour in. That's not a bad colour of that, so I think I'll come across there a bit more yellow in. Just brighten that bit up there, just into there like that. That's 
that, take that across to about there, and then settle that down. Watch the brush out, bring it across like that. That's it, that's a dummy, I think. Get a tiny bit of that creamy colour, tiny bit, and just mob a bit of that in and all. There. Actually, there, that's that. Um, I think what I'll do now, tiny little equal brush, and just put a tiny little dark side down the side of this fence there. And so that stands out a bit more. A few minutes in the bottom there. That's it, so that stands out a bit more. Uh, right, sheeps. Get some sheeps in. Right, so mix up some sheepy colours. What's basically white. Right, just get plenty of white. Let me just get. I'm gonna come in neat. Get some neat designers white gouache. As a bother. That's it. Just a nice little neat blob. Some nice sheep's out of there. So I'm looking at size at wool. This is how I tend to gauge my sheep. If I look at size at wool, and then sort of think the sheep probably come up to about a var on my wool. So that's how I gauge size on them. Then as they get closer, they're going to get bigger. And for my highlighted bit, I like to come into a, a dark bit, you see. So it stands out more. So I want one there. I'm gonna wet that. Because that's wet, so I can't put I'm gonna put one there, but that's wet. So unless I dry it, I can't put one there. Um I might stick with them all on one side anyway. Yeah, let's do that. Stick with them all on one side. So this one here is gonna be slightly bigger. Slightly closer. I might even put two together. Tell you what, I'm going to finish these off. I'm going to do these and then look, see where I need some more. So I'm looking at that now then, so I want to sort of... Yeah, that's a nice... I've got a good idea. Let's mix a sort of greyish, piperish colour up in here like this. Look, that's nice. It's a nice colour. Right, this is for the... Look at that, that's nice. So that's me... Um... Shadow side of my sheep. That's mixing in with that white. Give me a nice shadow side. If you, I tell you what's a really good way to do this. If you're on proper watercolor paper, wash them out, and then all that, then soak the green up from there for your shadow side. That works mint. I'll have to do some paintings at some point on some proper watercolor paper so I can show you what I'm talking about. So like here, I've gone into a green here, on this shadow side. Same here, same here. And then I'll blend that out into a green highlight in a minute. So I'll blend that in, lovely jubbly. That's that, a green highlight, a green low light is what I meant to say. So I'll need, if I, let's leave them now for now and have a look. Do I need any more or shall I just leave it at that? Um, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm going to pop one there, little one there. Make that look nice. Wash my brush out completely. Back into this pure gouch. And let's have one there, just there. So he's going to be. About that size. Yep, yeah, that'll do me. Blend him in. Need some of this greyish colour I've mixed. I'll just blend him in. Yeah, in fact, let's have him more that sort of shape, a bit elongated. Give him a wash. Just some of this greenish colour again. 
On je ono, malo to malo vem. Snap, right, nah, I'm gonna start bringing some highlights out. Low, I, I keep saying highlights, low lights. There's, it's a shadow, it's not even a low light, it's a shadow. That's what I meant it, meant it to say. So, shadow. There, it's nice, isn't it? And then there. Uh, just let that dry a second. Right, is there anything else I need to do while it's dry? Oh, yeah, I'm well, gonna put a little man in, won't I? So, let's do that. I think I'm out of a little man about there, just going towards the fence. So, let's sort him out. You know what? I'm gonna to go to an even smaller brush on the little man. And pop him in in white first, white gouache. So, let's have him about. Well, I've just thought he's going to be that path's behind there, so he's going to be behind there. So I'm going to pop him about now. They, they come up quite, I'd say he's about as high as that post there. So that's in there. I'm just going to have more white this side actually. Could have him in a white t shirt. That's my man. What colour jeans shall we? Shall we give him some blue jeans? Give him some blue jeans. Some light blue jeans. Nice light blue jeans. Here we are, look. Oh, they do suit you, pal. You look cool in your light blue jeans. There, some light blue jeans. Um, right, let's let leave him to dry for a minute. So I might put shadow on him. Don't know. Right, what were I going to do next? Um, I suppose heads on my sheep, so let's put some heads on my sheep now. Right, so, now then, let's have, that one looks like he's got a little head on him there, so let's pop his head there, pop him a couple of ears on, little ears, little head. So this one, I'll pop his head down there then, like that, so he's that way. Dee 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 dee. That's his head there, look. Little ears. So, let's have this one. Let's have his head there. So he's looking up. And this one. Let's have, a look. Let's have this one's head. Shall have his head over this side there, like that. Let's have his head there, like that. So he's looking up. His head's there. Oh, I've got some little ears on him up. There. That's nice, doesn't it? That's three sheep with their heads up. Um, right. Um, my little man. I think because there's little whites in the sheep and little white highlights, he's not standing out enough. So I pointed the white in to get me a white background. And now I think... I'm going to do him a nice red top. Perhaps he's a, I don't know, perhaps he might be a football fan who supports a red team, perhaps. I don't want to alienate football fans what supports blue teams. I don't follow football, so I don't want to alienate half my people. Right, so let's give him a red T shot. Perhaps he's not a football fan at all, eh? Let's say he's not a football fan, so I don't alienate half me peoples. Because I know football fans there's a bit passionate in that in it. Now I'm gonna go to a darker red now. Pop to the side, because that's where his shadow's gonna be, that side like that look. So it's slightly darker there, look. There we are. Add in a tiny bit of blue into that, send it a little bit purple down one side. That's that. And then a dark blue down this side of his trousers. So that's the way it lights coming in, you see. Dark blue down there. Yeah, that's nice. 
the dark blue to the light blue. Dee 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 dee. And then I'm going to come back into my red and just blend that in a bit. Let's just give me a darker red down that one side. There we are, so that's my little bloke going towards there. Let's give him some brownie. And there he is. There, he's just about to go onto there and cross over. But it, his legs stop there because he's behind that hill there. He's on the path in the background, you see. Um, right. Let's sit back and have a look. I think I've done. Sit back, see if I need hotels. Now, I think... I think that's just done the job. That looks just nice. A few extra trees. Just a few, that little bit of extra detail. And it's made it a nicer more finished off polished off picture so that's hard to do that um i'm not quite in the middle am i let's bring that in the middle so you can have a look at it is that better yeah there you are so i'll uh see the beach 